So thanks everybody for being here. I know that this gets late for some of you and I'm really excited to be here tonight. I know that you, most of you have probably been with me over the last um, three weeks. If not, we do have all of these Custom Blend webinars recorded. So make sure that you definitely tune in and catch up to whatever you missed because everything I talked about in the last few weeks is actually going to kind of lead up to tonight. So if you haven't watched any of my webinars, my name is Lee Rader and I am a mother and a wife. I'm a mother of two wonderful boys and I have an amazing husband. I'm also a motives field consultant and I have to be honest that, you know, everything I'm going to be going over tonight and everything I talked about with consultations and events are all things that I have done, I have implemented in my business. And that was really important to me before I even became a motive certified trainer is I needed to know how to teach people what I did. And to be honest, I followed the system that was given to us. Um, we have so many tools and, and uh, trainings and you know we can learn from so many other amazing people but if you're anything like I was, it was really hard for me to find the time to do it. I owned a salon. I worked there. Um, usually I was there from, you know, 8.30 in the morning until about 10 o'clock at night, Monday through whenever. Um, I worked a lot of hours. But the thing is, this business, you can kind of fit it into what you're doing. And then eventually you'll have options and, you know, you can achieve more goals along the way. So uh, because I followed the system, you know, that's that's really how I became a multiple challenge and contest winner. And I'll share at the end how I actually leverage those to really just help uh, excel not only with custom blend, but with my business as a whole. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you can type them throughout the broadcast. I will stay at the end to make sure that I answer all of them. I do stop recording at that point. so. Uh, don't be afraid to ask anything, okay? Um, if you're wondering it, chances are other people are probably wondering the same thing. But I thought it was really important tonight to start with the demand for customization. And we actually cover this in our motives uh, trainings as well. But if you think about the consumer going into the store, it's become really confusing for them. There's too much choice, but not enough guidance to help them find what's right for them. And when you start really focusing on custom blend, that's exactly what I hear from people. They come to me and they're like, you know what, I can't find anything that I'm totally in love with. Either the color doesn't match, you know, maybe the formula is not good, I don't like how it feels on my skin. I've gone to other stores, I've walked in, I feel like they're just pushing product on me and they don't really care you know, about me as a person and what, what my needs are. It's more about how much they can sell. And if you think about it, as consumers, we dictate what they want from the brand, which they create products that meet those needs. So in a sense, brands are always trying to figure out how to customize products for people but nobody really has the system in the one-to-one -one interaction that we do. So a lot of clients end up trying to mix their own blends and try to create their own formulas, and it's still really not good for them. And we're all different colors. I don't care where you're from or who you are or what your nationality is. Um, we all have different skin tones, and so it's important for us to be able to find something that we can wear. Another trend that we're seeing is totally inclusive beauty and cosmetics. So beauty and cosmetic companies are being asked to consider that a one size fits all approach is no longer suitable. And if you think about it like that whole personalization of beauty products is huge. You know, people love to be involved in, uh, you know, having the correct thing for them. And it makes them feel special when you have something that is just for them. It's created just for them. Some other beauty industry trends that we see is by 2020, which is crazy because that's like really coming up quick, multicultural or mixed race women will make up over 40% of the population, which means that 
you know what, we're going to need a wide range of colors. And truth be told, a lot of brands, they can't really come out with a wide range of colors to meet everybody's needs. I mean, if they did, they would have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of shades and it's really not feasible for most companies. So with Motive's custom blend system, it really truly empowers beauty advisors to not only offer their clients a perfectly unique personalized beauty bundle, but gosh, you know, we can we can just customize anything for them. Not only the the consultation, but all of the products in general. So we do have that as a solution, and it's our Motives Custom Blend. So customizing products actually allows us to accommodate everyone's unique set of traits, their personal coloring, their skin type, their age, their lifestyle, and their personality and preferences. It also guarantees 100% customer satisfaction. They're never stuck with that product. We can always adjust it, you know, like if now we're kind of going into the warmer months that they get a tan, we can darken it very easily. Um, and I want my customer to be satisfied and I tell them that. I tell them that ahead of time. And so they're rest assured that they're going to be taken care of and they're not going to be stuck with it. It also makes you, the makeup artist, indispensable. They are loyal to you. It's fun. I just had a brand new client on Friday. And she she's like, well, I kind of I, I do kind of like what I'm using, you know, for my current foundation. And I'm like, OK, well, if you love it, you know, that that's fine. She's like, well, I wouldn't say that I love it. And she said the whole idea of this whole custom blend thing is just really intriguing. It makes me want to get it. And it's true. Right. And so when I go over all these points with you, these are some of the things that I go over with my client. Um, because I want them to know what it is. And when I tell them what it is, they just automatically make the decision that they want it. But what we're going to talk about tonight is a little bit more about the profitability and how you can create an action plan and see the numbers behind it. Because I don't know, I, I'm a numbers person. And like for me, I have to see like, OK, you know, tell me exactly like what I can do with this and how I achieve, you know, the kind of money that I need for my goals, right? So we're going to go over that too. This having custom blend really does give your business prestige and ex exclusivity. Um, you know, it, it's not found everywhere. And I that's kind of my goal is to be able to have like people just all over the world where we can just kind of plug people in and, and do those consultations. Yeah, we can do them online. But I mean, I think that would just be so power, powerful if we could just be a global, you know, custom blend company as well. So, and it's easy promotion and marketing and it cr creates excitement and fun. Um, I even love seeing you guys post your videos about you mixing and I mean, that that's fun to me. So we do have perfect positioning as a Motives Beauty Advisor, not just with Custom Blend, but you can actually position yourself in the middle of purchasing power and earn a piece of the pie because we know that the global beauty care industry is a billion dollar market and people are purchasing cosmetics. Um, it actually has grown quite a bit every year. It doesn't go down ever. And so why not? Why not have a piece of the pie, right? We offer the best products in the marketplace at the most competitive price while offering the ability to leverage a proven business system. And I just want to take a moment and, and talk about that because with my background, you know, I've been a cosmetologist. This is my 25th year. And when I owned my salon, we carried a lot of different products. Um, we tried a lot of different things. It was our goal to be the salon in our town. Um, and there were a lot of salons around. And when it came to, especially like the cosmetic side of thing, I'll just kind of touch on that right now, is there weren't really a lot of options for us in a salon type setting. And so we tried a lot of different things. We even tried, um, you know, branding our own brand and, you know, trying to pick the products ourselves and hand select them. And the thing with that is, well, there's a lot of issues with that. But bottom line, no matter what we did, we did not have 
a proven business system like this company gives you. So when I worked behind the chair and I worked all those hours, I only got paid when I did services on my clients. Sure, I got some retail profit if I retailed products, but I did not earn commissions and I was not getting an ongoing income like this company offers. So that's so important to know because as I work with more and more people, just across the board and all, all facets of the industry and all you know different professions in life, you know, sometimes I'll come across people and they're like, well, I want to create my own thing or I want to, I'm going to like, you know, take parts of this and do that. And, but at the end of the day, is it something that's going to continue to pay you ongoing? And do you have the ability to leverage more than just makeup, more than just hair care, more than just health and nutrition? I mean, we have all these divisions. And so I think sometimes we don't really realize what we have, and it's very important. So let's get back to custom blending and how you're going to build your business. So if you um, have watched the other webinars, I went over how to complete one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one, one -on -one consultations, and that really is important. And you know, that's not only going to build confidence in yourself, but also your brand. So I want you guys to like really master the basics of that. And that really should be your first goal. But keep it simple. All right, focus on top selling products. I always do focus on custom blend and then I'll focus on things that go with it. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. But, you know, let the clients play and sell themselves. If you're if you're not sure about all the other things, you know, let them put their primer on. Let them put the Insta Smooth on. Let them apply their foundation with the foundation brush. You know, let them do that because I think that a lot of times we feel like we have to be the one to do this. And in all honesty, the more that we get them to do, the more that they will be apt to buy. Um, we're not trying to teach you guys how to be amazing makeup artists and, and you know be amazing at your craft. There's lots of trainings to do that. What we're trying to get you guys to do is you know be that solutionist, be that person there for them that's going to help guide them through the decision process. And then, of course, don't forget to use all of your tools. Um, we have face charts, product charts, catalogs. Um, keep it simple and keep it duplicatable and have fun with it. I actually love doing one-on-one -on -one consultations, but I have to admit, at first, it wasn't comfortable. I had to learn and go through the process. I had to learn what I was doing wrong. I had to push myself to get better. And I think so many times I see people give up right away um, because they maybe don't see the results that they want right away. And it takes time. It takes time and it takes consistency. And if you guys would just like push yourself and keep going even when you don't feel like it, I promise that it becomes much more fun and you'll enjoy yourself much more. It's just part of the process. So we know um, that a average sale for a one-on-one -on -one consultation, now this is just regular cosmetics. This is not really including custom blend. When you add custom blend, it's like just adding even more to it and your numbers go up significantly. But if we just look at the average sale goal for just a regular one-on-one -on -one consultation without custom blend, that's going to be around $100. And we know that based on an average of about a 30% retail margin, that's about $30 in retail profit. It's also going to yield about 56 BVs to share with your team. That's just basic. Okay. So, you know, if you don't have custom blend, you can still do your consultations. And that's about what they're going to produce. That's average. And then once you master those one on one consultations, then you are going to start with you know more events and it does you'll see how it all kind of goes together in in a circle i always say one leads into the no another but we have the event guidelines for you guys we did our webinar last week to go over three different events that you can do um, but it really does allow you to leverage and duplicate it allows you to meet more people 
um, that could be interested in starting their own business and offering custom blends. And it creates excitement. And it's, it's great to be able to leverage your time because we're all busy, okay? We all have limited amount of time. And so if you can meet with, you know, six to eight people versus a one-on-one, -on -one, you want to do that. We also know that the average retail sales at an event is about $1,000. And again, this is just all of our event outlines that we have. They all yield, on average, about $1,000. So if we take a 30% retail margin on that, that's going to be about $300 in retail profit and about 560 BV to share with your team. So what is the flow of this 30 phases in 30 days? Um, because I think that sometimes we hear that and we're not really quite sure like, okay, well, I have to meet with 30 people and do their makeup or, you know, how does that work? And honestly, it's a great way for you to kind of leverage your network and ask for help because everybody likes to help, right? So if we ask for help and we say, I'm in a challenge, so you're challenging yourself or I'm challenging you, if you need to use me as an excuse, go for it. I have to get 30 faces in 30 days. I also need like three people to host a motives event, so can you help me out? Great, what day works for you? And schedule it. So because you're helping me reach my goal and I'm so thankful, I wanna give you an option to get some free product. And then you can explain the hostess program, which I'll go over soon as well. So these one-on-one -on -one consultations can actually end up to, you know, an event with another five people. And then off of that event, the goal is to get two bookings and you're gonna, you know, be introduced to even more people with those bookings. So it's not always about the people you know. And I feel like every training I do, this comes up where people are like, well, I only know so many people. That's not the point. You start with the people you know. And then from there, you're going to meet new people. Um, I always use the example of one of the, the uh, contests that I actually ended up winning, I believe, but it was the Beauty and All Ages contest. And with that contest, I actually ended up meeting with 80 women. And only 40 of them, I sort of knew. Like, I kind of knew who they were. Um, I wouldn't say I, like, knew all of them, but they had, like, you know, they maybe had a lot of mutual friends of mine. But 40, the other 40, so half, were people that I had never heard of. I had never met them. I had never seen their picture on Facebook. I mean, like, I had never met them. So I was able to double my network just through the people that I was meeting you know, the other 40 people. So the, the additional 40 people were all people that they introduced me to. So here's an example. Um, what if you would just focus on booking 10 individual appointments within the first week of this training, okay? Because you're gonna start right after this, or hopefully some of you have already started. It really does give you a chance to be great, it also gives you a chance to get everything you need as far as like products and you know any other supplies that you need. And then at these events, you can book, uh, it says beauty basics, but honestly you can book any event. If you want it to be a custom blend event, you can pick one of the three that we talked about last week. And uh, it gives your hostess also time to prepare and invite the guests. So it also gives you time to work with your calendar and make sure that you're prepared for exponential growth because that's exactly what is going to happen. It's almost like, you know, you're, you're kind of trying to get that momentum going. And once you get that snowball kind of rolling down the mountain, it just keeps going faster and faster and gets bigger and bigger. And that's really what this is like. I feel like at the beginning it might be hard, but I'm telling you guys, like once you start in this routine, it's just like, it's fun. Um, I actually get nervous now if I don't have stuff in my calendar and I'm not as busy as I want to be because I know that I'm losing some of that momentum. So as long as you can keep this momentum going up, the better. So when we break it down this way and you have 10 individual appointments and they each have uh, an event with at least five people over the age of 18, that's 50 faces. So it's not like you have to meet with like 30 individual people. It can be through events. 
Um, you can do it so many different ways. And I feel like when you break it down like that, it's like, okay, that's, that's a little bit more achievable. That's a little bit more doable. So don't know anyone, like I said, get to your contacts people. And so use the hostess program because if they have an event on the original date, they get $20 in free product. If they have five people there over the age of 18, they get another $20. If they if you book two appointments from the event, they you get another they get another twenty dollars and then you probably have you know one that wants to partner from that as well. Add up what you did in sales, it's probably about one hundred fifty dollars to a thousand dollars. They get another twenty dollars in free product, and then of course you have the hostess take a look at the business. She can either partner if that person is interested, or you can. Um, you know what? Because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. No matter what, you're going to have those sales if she partners or not, or he. So it does unfold like that. And use our, our hostess information packets. You can actually order these already printed. They come in a packet. Um, and, you know, they're nicely done. And go through that with them. It's got a wish list in there. It's got all sorts of information for them that they can use. And um, it's very nicely put together. So I usually have these you know in my studio and so i can just kind of grab it at the one-on-one -on -one consultation when they're like hey is this something that i could do um you know can i have an event then it's right there but let's talk about you guys and your goals and and how you can create an action plan for you but what i really want you guys to think about is what do you really want and this is going to change over the years. My goals have changed depending on what I have going on in my life. And, um, you know, once you achieve your goal, you got to make new goals and you got to always kind of be reaching for the next target. Um, but when we develop goals and we have an amazing training, we talk about this actually in our uh, basic five training. So I, I recommend that you know you definitely take that training, go to any local seminars that are in your area because that's also teaching the basic five fundamentals of building the business. But when we look at our goals, it's really the importance of setting SMART goals. And SMART means being specific, um, which set real numbers with real deadlines. And the more specific you can be, the more you will achieve them. Um, it's just crazy how that happens, but be don't be afraid to be specific. I think that some people are scared, um, you know, because it's like, be careful what you wish for, right? But it's really important for you to be specific and also, you know, put out numbers out there. So I want I want you guys to think, like, how much money do I need right now per month to make a difference? Like, do you want to pay for your car payment? Do you want to pay your mortgage payment? Do you want to walk away from your job? You know, how much are you making from your job and how much would you need to make up from this business to be able to do that? It's going to be different for all of us, right? And then M is for measurable. And, you know, make sure that your goal is trackable. And I do always do this whenever, I actually do this all the time, is I always kind of measure, monitor, and adjust what I'm doing because it's really important and when you track things it's pretty amazing what you do when you don't realize you're doing it um especially when it comes to custom blend I think because we're like we buy the kit and we're maybe not like keeping track of like how many blends we're really doing and when we keep track of that it's it's pretty remarkable and when you keep track of your sales that you're doing and how many clients you're seeing and how many of them are new I mean it's it's pretty pretty amazing when you measure it you might have to adjust some things, right? Because we're all learning. I'm still learning every day new things. I mean, nobody's perfect. And then A is for attainable. So you're going to have to work towards a goal that is challenging but possible. So I want you guys to, to make a goal that is going to challenge you because nothing came good from staying in your comfort zone. But you know, it also has to be possible. So it's going to depend on, you know, uh, what you want and, and how laser focused you are and, and how much time you have and, and how much drive you have. 
um, but it should be it should be obtainable, okay? And then R is realistic. So be honest with yourself and you know what you and your team are capable of. What I like about this, the R is realistic, is I want you guys to think about being realistic with where you are right now. Um, sometimes we, you know, we need to look at, okay, where am I right now? And what am I going to do to change to, you know, push myself a little bit more? And, you know, how many people on your team do you have to help you? Um, you know, what is that? What does that look like for you? And then T is for time bound. And that's to give yourself a deadline. And when I say deadline, I mean like a specific date, not like in August 2019. It's like August 10th, 2019. Like actually put a date on it. Okay. Otherwise, it's so easy to be like, oh, yeah, I might hit that someday. You've got to be, you've got to have that deadline on there. So always be mindful of your goal. So like I said, what are your immediate financial goals? And I, I actually was at a local this last weekend um, with Ryan Stack, and he actually talked a lot about goals and, and uh, you know, things that we want. And, you know, the thing is, it's like we can all have, like, goals and wishes and dreams, but it has to be something that you that really moves you or like pushes you or that you really want okay so it has to be something that like i i often look back at just when i've excelled and done things it was almost out of desperation like i had to um like a perfect example is when i sold my salon and i walked away i had to make up that income that i was leaving i mean i was leaving a lot of money behind and that money paid our bills and I wasn't going to have that anymore. And so I was really desperate at the time to push myself to do things. And it really made me laser focused and obsessed with what I wanted. It's not like I was like breathing desperation on people, but when I woke up in the morning, it was enough to push me to do things and I just had that laser focus. And so I don't know what that is for you, but it's got to be something that is going to push you to do things. All right. So think about what that is. Like, what is the kind of retail profit that is going to help you reach that financial goal? And what kind of ongoing income through commission checks does that look like? Is it $300 a month? Is it $300 a week? Is it $1,500 a week? You know, is it $3,000 a week? Like, what is that for you? Because once you know that number, we can actually break it down really easily and be like, okay, you know, this is what you need to do to get to that number. Now, if you're not even making $300 a month, of course, you're not going to be like, well, you know, I'm going to be a director, you know, by August. So start with something small and be like, okay, I'm going to start earning, you know, $300 a month. And once I achieve that, then it's going to be, I'm going to increase that, um, you know, whatever that is for you. Now, here's the thing. What are you willing to give up or overcome to achieve them? You guys, we're all busy. We all fill our time up with whatever it is we're doing. So sometimes we have to sacrifice things. You know, it could be time with family. You know, and I think it's important to talk about your goals with your family and just be like, look, you know, in order for me to do this, this is what we're going to have to give up for a little while. But this is the goal I'm working towards. So if I can have your support in doing that, um, you know, it's just going to make it happen much more faster. But of course, you know, try to still have some t time with your family. You don't want to be gone all the time. But sometimes we have to kind of schedule our business in our life because. For most of us, or for a lot of you, it might be your side gig or your second thing that you're doing, and you might have a full-time job. And so sometimes it's easy for you just to be like, well, I'll do something next week, or I'll do something tomorrow. Schedule this business in your schedule just like you do anything else, and be very, very conscious of that time you're setting aside. And then push yourself to do result-producing activities, because that's when you're really going to see results. But maybe it's TV. Um, 
there's people that watch an awful lot of TV out there. And, uh, you know, maybe it's hobbies. Maybe it's, you know, I, I once was working with somebody that was bowling. She went bowling like five times a week. I'm like, well, can you give up maybe two nights, you know, to work on your business? I mean, we all have to give up things, right? Especially when we're trying to achieve something we haven't yet. Your comfort zone, that's a huge one for people, um, which I always say it's why attitude and knowledge is, is really the, the first step of the basic five, you know, is, is having that attitude and knowledge really does help push you out of your comfort zone a little bit. It gives you, um, you know, kind of that, that uh, posture, I guess you could say. But think about this. Nothing great ever came from being comfortable. And if we're comfortable, we're not growing. So we're either growing or we're dying. So what do you want? Do you want to grow? Do you want to, you know, do you want more in life? Because I don't know about you, but I'm older today than I was yesterday. And there's a lot, a lot of things that I want to do yet in my life. And so I remind myself of that, like, you know what? I got to, I got to keep on going. I got to keep pushing myself. And just when I get comfortable, I'm uncomfortable with something else. <laughs> it's like, you never get comfortable. And I think that that's one thing that a lot of people don't talk about is, you know, you, we all have to go through the process. We all have to go through those times where we're not doing as good as we thought or we're uncomfortable and we do things that we're really scared to do is because you can't get to your end result without going through all of that. So it's just part of the process. We all have to do it. And, you know, how will you stay focused and keep your brain in the game? There's a lot of negative stuff out there. There's a lot of negative people out there. A lot of them are family members that we may have or good friends that we have. So how are you going to stay ultra focused and eliminate all of those distractions, you know, to keep your brain in the game? I listen to audios every single day. It's one of the first things I do in the morning. I don't go a day without it because that's just something that I found helps me with my mind. And sometimes I'll listen to the same audio four or five times because I hear different things. We have a lot of great audios with our company. Um, there's a lot of great podcasts out there. There's so much that we can listen to. And what about calling your mentor? Um, always call up like call somebody that you know we all have bad days okay so call someone that's gonna kind of talk you off the ledge or give you good advice or just be able to understand what you're going through because trust me we've all been through it trust me we have <laughs> most of us are like i hope nobody goes through some of the stuff i went through because it's just again it's part of the process right attend trainings, especially, you guys, especially with motive. Like, I feel like our trainings are so valuable and gosh, it gives you the knowledge. It gives you the posture. It gives you, you get to meet other people. Um, and our major events, like I can't imagine, I've never missed a major event. Like we've got some of the best training that you could ever, ever wish for with this company. Um, hands down because I've been to a lot of other things and I can I can honestly say that that's true but you guys have been you've got to sometimes I think that it's hard for us to especially if we've been employees it's hard for us to kind of have that business mindset and you really have to because this is your business and these are the things that you need to do to create that business mindset so a dream is a precursor to a goal, just like empowerment is to equipping you to be successful in your business. So you have to be motivated to equip yourself for success. But you guys are on the right path to realizing your purpose. So now is the time to take action, and action will propel you to your goals and dreams. It's the only way, you guys. I'm telling you. It's the only way. So we know that this is about the cost to make our custom blend liquid. Um, I would say, you know, anywhere from about $14.45 to about $17.50 is probably like the highest total for like a full coverage, okay? We also know that to make a custom blend powder, it's about 
So we know that, you know, if we retail our every liquid blend for like $45 and we use an average cost to create, we know that that's about $30 retail profit. If we retail our custom powder for $35, it costs us about 15 to make on average. That's about a $20 profit. That's what we're going to use to break down this action plan. Now, if you had an action plan and you just focused on 30 blends in 30 days, that is going to keep you ultra laser focused, right? That is going to be, if that's your goal, it's like, this is what I'm going to focus on every day. When I wake up, I'm going to be like, I got to get my 30 blends in 30 days, right? So we have a simple visual with track and sheet to hold yourself accountable. And you can achieve this by, like I said, hosting events, conducting individual consultations, working through existing clientele for referrals. And then, of course, you can also um, brand yourself on social media and offer value to your clients there, too, because that's actually where you're going to get a lot of interest as well. So if we would turn that 30 faces in 30 days or 30 blends in 30 days into an action plan, if we if we take every custom blend on average is about $25, if we kind of go in the middle of a liquid and a powder. Now, what I want you guys to realize is we're just actually saying this is one custom blend. And how often do we actually retail two custom blends, a liquid and a powder? I would say mine's probably around like 95% of my my clients right but we're just going to say if you just concentrate on 30 custom blends in 30 days after that one month that's about 750 dollars in retail profit now if we did that the first month and then the second month because don't you think like out of those 30 blends it's really possible to duplicate this with two personal sponsors because you're going to find people that are like hey so I love blending. Is this something I can do for sure, right? So if we would do that for month two and then action plan for month three is duplicate that with their two personal sponsors and everybody's just concentrating on 30 faces and 30 days, 30 blends and 30 days. In one quarter of business, you've now led to a team of six to immediate personal and professional success because what you set in motion carries in motion. Okay, and so that's gonna kind of unravel like that. But I'm gonna up it a little bit. Now that was just the blend, but we also know that we have a lot of other products that are gonna come up in our consultations, and we can leverage all of these different industries. Now even if you guys are like, I don't really know a lot about you know, all these different product lines, we have so much information out there. And I'm sure that as you build your team, you're going to actually build your team with people that have different interests and will kind of focus on these different divisions. And if you are just watching this for the first time, and you're like, I have no idea what she's talking about because you've never, you know, viewed our business plan or evaluated it. I'm going to encourage you to do that because we have a very, very uh, lucrative and valuable business plan behind Motives Cosmetics and our parent company but if you just build share of customer by offering your clients products within our other divisions for example skincare always comes up um, we've got all these different skincare lines that you can recommend health and nutrition most likely will come up it comes up more often than not for me and then of course personal care products we have amazing personal care products uh, we even have you know, some amazing hair care products and me being from the salon, you know, I, I definitely can vouch for that. And then of course, anti-aging and advanced nutrition. Those are all going to come up. But if we would just take a few different add-on sales and this is, I'm going to show you that this is actually pretty easy because all we're going to be uh, adding on is an OPC3 beauty blend, makeup towelettes, remover towelettes, foundation brush, kabuki brush, and 10 years younger setting spray. This is not a lot of makeup, right? That's going to be an additional $41.10. This is not including like blush and mascara and lips and the element palette or even primer if you look at it. 
Okay, so they're gonna need all of this stuff. They're gonna love the beauty blend because you're gonna serve them one of our beauty bliss cocktails. So when we subtract the distributor cost from the real retail profit, that's $41.10 and 79.5 BV that's attached to that product. So now if we would actually just follow up and offer complimentary products that I just went over, and we actually add that $40 retail profit to those 30 clients that are already purchasing their one custom blend, that's an additional $1,200 in a retail profit generated from those same clients. So if we would actually then add in our custom blend profit, that's $1,950 in one month. Just retail profit, that's not counting any commissions with BV or anything. That's pretty cool. And then if you add on all of those other things, right? Um, I'm telling you, like, I know there's been some really great success stories even with implementing the my list when, you know, clients are, are ordering after their first session. They're adding on. They're getting more because once they start using our products, they're like, oh, my gosh, how do I get that? And what, how much is this? And can I add that on? And, you know, now I ran out of this, so I'm ready for that. So this is just the beginning. This is just getting the ball rolling. So what I want you guys to ask yourself is, how many consultations are you committing to each month and what days? Or hours are you setting aside to do so? So we know as an example that five consultations is about a potential $325 in retail profit. And we also know it's going to be about 400 BV with those add-on products, but actually more with the custom blend, right? It's just hard to figure out BV with custom blend. And then how many events are you committing to to do each month? Because we know that each event is going to produce about $300 retail profit and about 600 BV. So put time aside in your schedule. This particular action plan may generate an estimated $625 in immediate profit and over $1,000 BV towards commission. So think about this. One event a month, that could be you know one Thursday a month, and then five consultations. That's a little over one a week, right? So maybe you like don't do the one week that you have the, the event or something. But that is very doable. This action plan could be in addition to you know, a full-time job or something like that. Because remember, each event is only about two hours. And then, of course, you got drive time or whatever. And consultations, too. Like, honestly, our consultation is plenty of time. So that is very, very doable. OK, so if you're like, OK, um, $600 retail profit or 625 that would make a difference in my life that's without commissions you guys that's doable right now what about think about this how many business partners do you need to duplicate this for your desired result because this is where the commissions come in so if you and then you have one partner on your left and one partner on your right including you, that's three partners, they're each producing 1,000 BV, and then you take a half of your BV, half of your 1,000, that's 1,500 total. So if we have 1,500 BV on each side, that's going to trigger that $300 check, right? Because you're going over that threshold of 1,200 BV on each side. Now, if you have six on your left and six on your right team, that's 30 partners total that actually equates to 6,000 BV and then if you add in half of your production on each side that's 6,500 BV on each side which is a potential of $1,800 in commissions because we're going over that 5,000 threshold then we're kind of going back again um, and adding in your next you know $300 check there so that that's pretty cool when you when you look at it that way too and it's like that's how much you know you would need to do to generate that potential eighteen hundred dollars commission now if you're anything like me I want to see okay well what if what if what if you committed to 
90 faces in 90 days. And we assume that all 90 faces are going to get a liquid blend, and all 90 faces are going to get a powder blend. And all 90 faces are going to buy at least $40 in initial or additional products or 40, I'm sorry, $40 in retail profit on additional products. That actually is a retail profit of $8,100. And when you think about it, it always takes a long time to kind of like get in the habit, get in the routine of doing it. I think 90 days, you know, we hear 90 day fast tracks, we hear all these things. But like, honestly, can you guys just like picture that? Even if they don't all get both blends, that's still a lot. And that's not including reorders from people. Can you imagine adding in skincare consultations? What about additional products like eyeshadow palettes, mascara, lip, blush, and bronzer? We're coming out with some new skincare tools. We're always coming out with new products, seasonal things that they want to try. Like, honestly, that is very doable. And I've actually done this, so I know that you can, and I know that it works. Um, so what if you just committed to that? What if you're like, okay, I'll do the 30 faces in 30 days, and then I'm going to continue on for another 60 days after that? Wow. <laughs> can you imagine? what that's going to do to your business. And then if you start duplicating that with everybody that you're working with, that's pretty cool. And it's fun. It's fun when you start to see results like this. Um, and that's not even, gosh, health and nutrition. And oh my gosh, you guys, like this, like I like to see this because I'm like, okay, you know, the monthly thing's cool. That's great. But what about if we really want to like 10 exit, we've got some big goals going on why not show you guys this too? Why not show you what's possible, right? And then we have all of our other products that we can make on top of this. So this is actually, I took this from our flyer that we have, Why Custom Blend, it's, it's the bottom part of it. But we know that if we would just like take our initial custom blend kit and we would use all the containers in that kit, this is gonna actually generate $3,000 or more in product sales. All right, so that's pretty cool too. That's how we're, you're going to get your investment back. And that actually doubles your investment if you fill all of those containers. And I've had some people, they're like, well, what if I want to charge more than suggested retail? Well, then you just start making more money. <laughs> you can do that. It's suggested retail. It's not what you have to uh, retail it at. It's going to depend on you and where you're located and, and all that stuff. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to create an action plan for yourself, kind of break it down from what I showed you. Um, if you know, I think you need that dollar amount first. You kind of need your goal and what you want, the dollar amount attached to that goal, and then kind of go backwards from there and create that action plan for yourself. So I actually just wanted to kind of recap a little bit and kind of dig into things a little bit more. So the first thing is pick what you want right now. And, you know, I, I like I said earlier, you always want to evaluate where you currently are. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to rate yourself from 1 to 10 on how, how bad your hunger and desire is to achieve that, achieve what you want right now. Um, you know, how desperate are you? And this is like a healthy form of desperation. This is not like, you know, but you've got to have that drive to make you want it. So I want you guys to evaluate where are you currently? Um, you know, uh, from one to 10, like 10 would be completely laser focused on my goal. Like I am not going to let anything stop me. I'm, you know, a horse with blinders on. You know, five would be like, well, you know, I kind of an I'm I'm on my goal from time to time. Um, you know, I, I think about it sometimes, but I'm not like I could probably be focused a little bit more. And one would be you're constantly feeling distracted. It's frustrating because you know you forget what your goals are, you can't seem to like put the time aside for them and you know, think about uh, you know, where where you want to be tomorrow or you don't have maybe things scheduled in your calendar 
um, and just rate yourself, okay? And then evaluate where you are right now, um, but you also must be intentional to change a few things, all right? So starting out, everything in life starts with intention. So you must intend to increase those things that you want to do. And you also have to be intentional about feeding that hunger level, you know, how you rated yourself prior. And then when you start getting closer to your goal, what's really cool is when you repeat it over and over again, and you're doing all these actions to get you to your goal, it actually makes you even do more. So sometimes it's hard to get started, but once you're, you know, going for it, it's like, okay, I can actually see it. I see results. I see that, you know, it's, it's, it's pushing me to do things a little bit more. Um, you know, and so what is your plan? What is your plan or strategy? What is your strategy to increase your hunger level? Um, it may be you have to be around like-minded people who hold you accountable, who hold you up a little bit more. Um, you know, that always helps me. That always helps me to be around people that believe in me. I often talk about that, you know, before I had the kind of self-esteem that I needed, I actually had other people believe in me before I even believed in myself. And sometimes we need that, you know. Um, you need to put yourself in situations that people are going to hold you to a high standard and hold you accountable, which is why we have accountability groups. We have so many different options with our company and all the different groups where you can join one. You can be around a group of people that is going to hold you accountable. I know I do more when I'm held accountable. I can definitely say that as well. So, you know, if you have to report your results to people and they're going to see what you did, I think it's kind of a rule of thumb that you do a little bit more. So, and then you need to put additional pressure on yourself, you know, put a timeline on it. Like I said, make yourself do things by our international convention that we have in August. I always do my goals from world conference to international convention. And then when I get back, I readjust my goals and I do it again. So what does that look like for you? So what is your plan and strategy to increase your intention, your desperation, your hunger level? Um, what's your plan to increase your focus? Sometimes it's eliminating those distractions like TV, video games, internet, you know, Facebook. Sometimes people are on Facebook way too much. A plan is the only thing that will work. Otherwise, it's just a thought. If you don't actually have it written out, what you're going to do, it's just a thought, right? And then what immediate massive action are you going to take right now? I'm talking like right when this webinar ends tonight. What is the first? immediate massive action you are going to take toward the plan that you just came up with you know where evaluate where are you because we can't know where we are going if we aren't clear clear about where we are starting we have to have that start point in the gps we also have to have the end point all right so if we want to get to that certain destination, the only way we can is to be clear by getting there is to understand and be specific where we are right now. You must not only know where you are, but where you're going. So evaluate what you want. Be very honest. Evaluate where you are right now. And then know the directions that, are, that you need to do to get there. Have it drawn out. And you guys, knowledge is not power unless it's applied. And you haven't made a decision to do anything until you take action. So I want you guys to think about that. You know, if, if you've been on every custom blend webinar, now's the time to take action. You have all the knowledge. You have all the tools. You have everything you need. You just have to take action. So if you delay the action, there's no momentum and there's no progress. So that's how important it is. And so I hope that you all just do something, do something and 
share with us. I know I've seen a lot of people in the Motives group sharing um, things they're doing. I love that. Lisa loves seeing that. We all love seeing that. Um, that makes us happy. We want to see you all succeed. Keep on branding yourself on social media. Um, there's so much we can do if you're not leveraging social media. It You should be. Don't do it all through social media, but use it as another tool to brand yourself. Use all the tools, use the pictures. I know I've had a lot of people reach out to me, where'd you get the custom blend pictures? I just Google them. I take them from you know Google or the internet. Um, I find all those pictures I use for all of our promos and stuff from the internet. They're all there. Strive to be consistent with our challenge. You guys, the challenge is basically what we're teaching you guys to do to grow your business. And we actually have an accountability checklist with it. So if you're looking for someone to hold you accountable, please let me know. Um, there's so many different groups out there you can join. I know Carl Eklund always has one. I know Jim Winkler does one once in a while. Um, we'll hold you accountable if that's something you need. Otherwise, Put together an accountability group and see if there's other people that want to be held accountable too. And then get to our trainings. You guys, I can't stress how important this is. And I think I've told uh, most of you on all the other webinars that what we do at night for these Motives Mondays is in addition to our in-person trainings. And the great news is, is we just actually revamped them and where they're gonna be um, launched actually next week. And so we now have a Motives one-to-one, -one, skincare one-to-one, -one, a Motives, Motives custom blend your beauty. And then we also have our, our workshops, our, mark, our Motives marketing, advanced skin solutions, advanced custom blending, the art of makeup guided makeup application. So all of these are important. And I went to as many Motives trainings as I could Every time they were available in my area, I'd go, I would travel hours to go to them because I learned differently from different people. I would go with all of my new partners. Don't think that just going to a training once is gonna be, you're good to go. Um, because I can tell you that until you're a motives trainer, keep going to trainings until you can teach them. If you wanna find a workshop or a training near you, go to motivescosmetics.com under the join tab and under events. And if you need a training near you, reach out. Sometimes we have to travel to them. Now, this weekend, we're actually gonna be in Clearwater. We still have room for our Motives Beauty and Business Academy. So if you're interested in coming down to Clearwater, it's gonna be really nice. I checked, it's gonna be in like the 80s, sunny, really nice. We're also gonna be in New Hampshire, July 12th through the 15th for the Motives Beauty and Business Academy. Now this is a must training for those who wanna take their business to another level, who wanna work with uh, more salons and spas or even dance studios and medical spas. I mean, you name it, this is really the training where we're gonna really teach you how to implement what we have and make a difference in this changing uh, industry. Always utilize all of your marketing materials. We have such beautiful marketing materials you can order. You don't even have to purchase them, or you don't even have to, um, I'm sorry, print them. You can just purchase them already made. And then keep on maximizing the mentorship with our Motors Cosmetics Official Pro Partners Facebook group. I have self-guided units where it kind of takes you through um, all different aspects of things we've had in, in the group. Uh, different trainings, different information there. We have albums for social media images, monthly product focus information, training opportunities, custom blend recipes, um, you name it. We're trying to keep it real organized, so hopefully it's working. And then, of course, continue to tune in every single Monday night. We offer live calls or webinars. just depends on the week and what we're focusing on. Now, you can always find this information under events, I also put it up in the announcements section every week. And then all of our um, conference calls are recorded, put on UF Media. All of our webinars, I try to put them somewhere. Um, right now, all these webinars are on a special webinar kind of platform that we have, and I do share all those links for you. 
And then utilize our Facebook live broadcasts that we have saved. We had over a year's worth of them every single Monday during the day. They, they are also up in announcements in a list. And if you guys don't have your custom blend kit yet, that's the first thing you got to do to do custom blend is get your custom blend kit. You can get the full custom blend kit with everything needed to get started for $1,500. That's US dollars. Um, 300 BV, so enough to capitalize, you know, people's business when they get started. We also have a great big um, Motives Essential kit that comes with a lot of other makeup, which is great to do consultations and retail additional things. And keep track of what you're blending by creating retail receipts in your back office because we are not purchasing these things directly from the company. Um, we need to make receipts so that I'm telling you, when you track this stuff, it's like, wow, I can't believe how much I'm retailing. So we do have all the different codes in our custom blend manual for even concealers, lips, eyes, all that stuff. So we have some upcoming motives trainings. I know Mary is actually doing one on April 7th in Dover, New Hampshire, and also May 19th in Braintree, Massachusetts. We've got my girl Martha um, on April 6th in Buda, Texas. And then we have um, Emily. She's going to be uh, in New Hyde Park, New York, which is going to be on Sunday, April 7th and 8th. We've got Maleva, my girl Maleva. She's going to be in Mount Joy, Pennsylvania on April 12th through the 14th. I'm going to be in Palmyra, Pennsylvania, Saturday, June 8th through Sunday, June 9th. Martha will also be in Arizona from June 29th through the 30th. And we already have their schedule put together for our April Motives Mondays. Um, we're going to actually be, I'm so excited about it, but we're going to be launching our new palette soon. So the whole theme for the month is actually based on our new palettes coming out. So April 1st, me and Lisa are going to be going live in the Motives group just to bring you some updates and new things and kind of fill you in on what's going on. Um, April 8th, we're going to have Don Martin is actually going to be talking about building your business internationally. And he's been very successful, successful doing that. So tune in. You'll hear a lot from him and learn a lot from him. Um, Lisa's going to be doing a webinar on April 15th about how to create more goals, go more in depth on just motives overall and skincare and, and how you can uh, achieve your goals as a goal digger with motives. We're actually gonna have Lala come in to you guys um, in a couple weeks as well. We'll get more details on that. And then Lauren's gonna be back on the phone. Our beautiful boss babe Lauren is gonna be on a conference call on April 29th. Um, and I can't wait to hear, you know, what she's going to share for her vision on where Motives is going. And, you know, she's the ultimate boss babe. So she's a great end to our April. But keep on tuning in every single Monday. And, um, and let us know what you guys want to hear, too. So thank you all for joining us tonight or me tonight. And I want you guys to be able to answer or I'll answer any questions you have tonight. But if you are leaving me, have a wonderful, absolutely wonderful evening, and I can't wait to see you all soon. Thanks, everybody.